Hey everybody, we are ready for game three, opening day of the Pop 10, payoff pitch 10 team league. And this one, we're at the home of the world champion Boston Red Sox, Fenway Park, as the lowly Miami Marlins have drawn the short straw opening day to take on the Boston Red Sox at Fenway. Look at the pitching matchups. It'll be Chris Sale on the mound for the Red Sox against Jose Urena for the Marlins. We'll go to our lineups. And this is the first game where the DH will be invoked because we are at an American League park. So the Marlins will be using the DH. For the Marlins, leading off at second base is Starlin Castro. Batting second in left field, Cameron Maben. Hitting third and catching, JT Realmuto. Batting cleanup in right field is Brian Anderson. Hitting fifth at third base is Martin Prado. Batting sixth, the DH, Justin Bohr. Hitting seventh at first base is Derek Diedrich. Batting eighth is shortstop Miguel Rojas. And batting ninth is the center fielder, Lewis Brinson. All right. Now we go to the Red Sox. It'll be Mookie Betts in right, Brock Holt at second, Andrew Benatendi in left, J.D. Martinez, the DH, will hit the cleanup spot. Raphael Devers is at third base, hitting fifth. Xander Bogarts at shortstop, hitting sixth. Mitch Moreland at first hits seventh. Sandy Leone, the catcher, hits eighth. And Jackie Bradley Jr., center fielder, will hit in the ninth position. All right, let's get everything in place. As Chris Sale will be looking to finish up his warm-up tosses. Chris Sale. And, of course, we are at Fenway. In fact, I probably need to get my little booster for this tripod so I can get a little elevation going here. So one moment, I will get go get that, and we'll be ready for first pitch. Okay, we are back with some elevation. Hopefully that now everybody can see everything, the score sheet, the cards, and the whole nine yards. And leading things off for the Marlins will be Starlin Castro, second baseman. Going to face tough Chris Sale. It's a five, and that's tough. And that's 89. Tough 89 is going to be a ground ball to short. So Castro rounds to Bogarts. And we're underway in game three of opening day. Game three of five. Here's Cameron Maben. Seven is tough. 93. That's going to be a uh, grounder to short again. Keeping Bogarts busy over there at... Oh, there's some kids next door that are really somewhat loud. All right, here's Chris Sale. Delivering, it's an 8, which is patient, so Real Muto found the patient category. And a 32, that's going to be against the lefty. That's a double for JT Real Muto. So, found the patient, and he cracks a double. So, JT Real Muto, the hot free agent of the 18 season, at the catching position. It's a two-out double. Here is Chris Sale, tough, to Brian Anderson, and that's a 43. Tough 43, Brian Anderson's going to strike out. And there's the end of the top of the first. So, Riamuto doubles, but that's all the Marlins can muster. We go to the bottom of the first. It's Marlins nothing, and the Red Sox coming to bat. Jose Urena facing Mookie Betts to start things off. Now, the first two games have been turned out to be blowouts, so hoping this is not a trend. Urena, a 9, is tough, though, so let's see what Mookie can do with a tough pitch. Not much. 98's a fly to left. So, Mookie's gone. One away. Here's Brock Holt. 8 is patient. 84, though. Patient 84 is out of range. 84 is a fly to center. So, Urena off to a good start so far. Here's Ben Attendi, the left fielder. That's an 8, which is patient. And it's an 18, that's a walk. And that's not good news. You don't want to walk Ben Attendee with two outs and bring J.D. Martinez to the plate. That's not a recipe for success. Reyna, 7, is in play. But it's a 98, so that's going to be a fly to left. Martinez got into it, but not good enough. And Maven makes the catch in front of the green monster. The inning is over. So we go to the second, no score, as the Marlins try to hold their own. 
Tough sledding here against Chris Sale. He was 12 and 4 with a 2.11 ERA. So that'll bring up. Let's see. Why do I have Starling Castro here? Didn't get my lineups correctly here. Didn't move my guys, I should say. So let me get this corrected. Where did he go? There he went. Okay. Now I got it straight. Card's got a little misshuffled, I guess. So top of the second we go. Martin Prado, third baseman. Eight is patient. 55, patient 55, well out of range. Oh, not well out of range, barely out of range, I should say. 54 was it would have been hit. 55, those ground ball to third. And so the Marlins are using as many of the right-handed hitters as they can. Some of the lefty hitters that normally play are on the bench. But not Justin Bohr, but he is going to DH instead of play first base. 10 is tough. Tough 19, that's a strikeout. Two down for Derek Dietrich. Another lefty, but I mean, they have to have some lefties. They don't have that many. They don't have nine right handed hitters. Eight is patient. 67. Patient 67. Out of range. That's going to be a fly to left. And the inning is over. So we go to the bottom of the second. Still nothing doing for either team. And Raphael Devers will lead things off for the Bo Sox. Third baseman. That's a five, which is tough. Tough 25. Tough 25 is a strikeout. One away. Brings up Xander Bogarts. That's a nine, which is tough. 76. Tough 76 is a ground ball to second. Handled over there by the second baseman, Castro. Two down. Here's Mitch Moreland. Seven is in play. 73. Ground ball to short. So Urena holding his own. After two complete, we are scoreless here at Fenway. You never know what you're going to get. That's why you roll the dice to find out. Anything can happen with certain dice rolls. Here's Miguel Rojas. Shortstop. Three is in play. 97, though. That's a fly to left. One away. For number nine hitter, Lewis Brinson, center fielder. Eight is patient. 77, though. Patient 77 is going to be a fly to center. Two up, two down. Back to the top of the order for Starlin Castro. He grounded to Bogarts his first chance. Five's a tough. 77, out of range, 77. This time he's going to ground to Brock Holt at second to end the inning. And the Marlins have nothing through three, which is not unexpected against Chris Sale. Certainly wouldn't expect them to do a whole lot. So, let's see what we've got here. There's Cards bumped into each other, so now I gotta get them back in line. We're gonna move to make sure they're in the right batting order. Prado boy, okay, I got it now. Alright. Top bottom of the third. Urena back out facing catcher Sandy Leone, switch hitter, batting left. Eight is patient. Patient 83. Got a range. Patient 83 is a grounder to short. And by Rojas, one away. Brings up the number nine hitter, Jackie Bradley Jr. JBJ. Six is tough. Tough 46 is a strikeout. Two down for Mookie Betts. Let's see if the Red Sox can do anything second time seeing Urena. It's in play. And it's an 06, so that will be a double. So right on cue, Mookie Betts with that 06 gets a double. Two out double. Brings up Brock Holt. Chance to get something done. Eight is patient. Patient 70, though, is he's going to be hit by a pitch. 67 to 75 is a hit by a pitch. So Holt takes one for the team. Plunk. 
Urena was known for hitting some people. He had an incident with Atlanta, I believe, earlier in the season. So now that puts two on with two outs for Ben Attendee. Nine is tough. 0-4, though, is a strikeout, and that's going to end the inning. So three innings in the books, and we got goose eggs, surprisingly enough. High-powered Boston offense has been held in check so far. Chris Sale's doing his thing. And he'll be facing Cameron Maven. Lead off the fourth. 11 is ballpark. Let's see what he does here with Fenway. 98. 98's going to be an in-play check. Not a wheelhouse, so go to Maven in play. 97. That's going to be a fly to left. So Maven is gone. Here's Riamuto. He has the only hit. He doubled his first trip. 6 is tough, though. And that's a 98. That's another fly to left. Two down for Brian Anderson, right fielder. Also played some third on the season. Six is tough. 66 is going to be a fly to right. And three ball, fly ball outs later, we are done in the top of the fourth. Fast moving ball game. And here is Urena. He's going to lead off with J.D. Martinez. And I guess if you're going to face Martinez, it's the best time to do it when he's leading off an inning. Six is tough. 34, tough 34 is a strikeout. So the Martinez dispatched. Here's Raphael Devers. Eight is patient. 80, patient 80, out of range. That's going to be a fly to center. Two down. For Xander Bogarts. Seven is in play. 78, that's a fly to center. And four innings in the books and all zeros on the board. We go to the fifth. Both pitchers have fatigue rating of six on their card. So they're good for a couple more innings at least. Here's Prado. Seven is tough. 17, that's a strikeout. So Prado is gone. Here's Justin Bohr. Seven is tough. 0-9, that is a strikeout. So two up, two down for Derek Dietrich. Playing first base, he played a little bit everywhere. Mainly left field, but today he's playing first base. 11 is ballpark. 53 for a lefty is in play. On to Dietrich's in play result, it's a 35, and that's the last result on his single against lefties. So it is a two-out single for Dietrich. He only stole two bases all year, so he's not really a threat to go. Here is Rojas. Seven is tough. Tough 82, and that's going to be fly to center. So the inning's over. Chris Sale, five shutout frames against the lowly Marlins. Not unexpected at all. We go to the bottom of the fifth. What is unexpected, I think, perhaps, is Urena is shutting down the Red Sox through four. So he does here in the fifth. Mitch Moreland. Five is tough. 94, that is going to be fly to right. One away for Sandy Leone, catcher. Seven is in play. 15, in play 15 is a base hit for Leone. So a one-out single. He's certainly no threat to run. Here's JBJ, Jackie Bradley. Five is tough. Fourteen is another strikeout. Rough game for JBJ. 0 for 2 with 2 Ks. It's getting sized for his it's getting sized for his uh, hat trick for his hat. Six is tough. 32. Tough 32. Now He's got a wild pitch rating is only 30, so there's no chance for a wild pitch. Although you do have to check when you're in the 30s there. So six tough, tough 32 against a right-hander is a strikeout. And Buki Betts is gone here in the fifth. And so are the Red Sox. So five shutout innings in the books turned in by both pitchers. And they may be able to go past their six innings if they keep these shutouts going. Chris Sale facing Brinson. 
who's like a pseudo leadoff hitter, batting in the ninth position. Eight is patient. Maybe he can get on with a walk. 71. Nope. 71 is a ground ball to second. So Brinson is gone. Here is Starlin Castro. Eight is patient. 52. Patient 52. That's a base hit for Castro against the lefty. So Castro, one out single. Stole six bases on the year, was caught four times, so not much of a threat. They don't want to take a chance. They're going to go ahead and let Maven see what he can do. Nine is tough. Tough ten, he won't do anything to strike out. That's two away, but now you've at least got a guy on base for Riamuto. If he gets another double, it would give the Marlins the lead. Six is tough. Won't get a double out of that. Sixty-one. 61 is a fly to right. I'm sorry, 61 against the lefties. Still out of range. And it is still a fly to right. So, gotta make sure I check the left handed box. And the lefties in there. Sometimes you forget. So, down go the Marlins. And through six innings, Chris Sale has a three hit shutout going. Urena has a two hit shutout going for himself here through five. It's gonna start the six with Brock Holt. And Holt, his first trip, where his last time up was hit by a pitch. Nine is tough. 96 is a fly to right. One away for Andrew Benatendi. So now they're getting their third look at Urena. That's where it could he could run into trouble. 12, that's a wheelhouse. We're just talking about trouble. There it is. Wheelhouse for Benatendi. Wheelhouse for Benatendi is a 1 to 35. And that is a 67, so it's out of range. Will be a base hit, though. Didn't get the homer, but he did get the base hit. So, Benatendi with a base hit. Here is J.D. Martinez. 10 is in play. And that is a 23. In play 23 is a base hit. Lead die of 4. We'll check the base running advancement on a lead die of 4. So let's go our base running chart. Lead die of four, runner at first, one base. So a one base advancement as Ben Attendee makes it to second base. Two on, only one out. Raphael Devers, the batter. Could be where Urena runs into trouble. Six is tough. Fourteen, that's a strikeout. That'll help him. Two down. Now he's got to get past Xander Bogarts. No easy task. 23 home runs from the shortstop position. Forwards ballpark. And that's a four. It's a wheelhouse, so that's bad news. Bogart's wheelhouse is 1 to 72. That's a 75, so that's actually going to be a double. So it's a double. We know at least one run's going to score. Now Martinez only runs as a five, so he does not get the guaranteed uh, advancement. But we'll check the dice and see if they give it to him. So that is a double by Bogarts. It's going to give him a lead. Now, when we did the result, it was a four on the ballpark. So we go with the lead die of one on a double. Lead die of one on a double. Runner scores. So Martinez will score. So it's a two-run double for Bogarts. And the Red Sox break through two to nothing here in the sixth inning as they're getting their third look at Urena. Here's Moreland. 8 is patient. 75 and that's still going, that's going to be a base hit for Moreland. 75 is a base hit. Bogarts runs as a 6 so he automatically scores from 2nd with there with their being 2 outs. So it's a 3 nothing lead now and Urena is just about done. Let's go see if they can get the last out and get him out of this inning. Bullpen is loosening. So try to get Leon to get out of this. 10 is in play. 83, that'll do it. That'll get him out of the inning. That's a ground ball to short. But the Red Sox strike for three, and that's going to be all for Urena. He's going to go six, and that's going to be it. Give up the three runs. Do the final totals on him shortly. Ah, go and do it now. Why not? One, two, three, four, five, six. Got him for six hits. He hit a batter. He walked one. And he struck out one, two, 
three, four, five, six. So that's my final line that I've got unofficially on Urena. Six innings pitched, six hits, three runs all earned, one walk, six strikeouts. A quality start, but no run support. As the Marlins having to face Chris Sale is not helping that cause. So now we go to the top of the seventh. And Sale still out there because he's pitching a shutout. And he'll be facing Brian Anderson. This will probably be his last inning, though. Four is tough. Tough 57 against a lefty is out of range. That is a ground ball to first. Handled by Moreland, one away from Martin Prado. Prado, a nine is tough. Tough 20, that's a strikeout. I'm sorry, against the lefty, it's not a strikeout. Tough 20 is actually a pop out to second. So he pops it up to Holt for out number two. Leads up Justin Bohr. And we get a new pitcher for the Marlins in the bottom of the inning. Six is tough. 96, that's a fly to right. And the inning is over. So, seventh inning stretch time. We've made it in just over 20 minutes. And we're going to the bottom of the seventh with the score. Red Sox 3, Miami nothing. And be right back for... Well, I actually want to stay here, but uh, while I get the new pitcher to come into the ball game. And let's see, the Red Sox have Bradley, Betts, and Holt, and Benatendi. So three of the next four are lefties. So they're going to go to a lefty in the bullpen. And that lefty out of the bullpen is Adam Conley. So Adam Conley is on for the Marlins. Lefty. He will be charged with keeping things right where they are. And the first battery faces, Jackie Bradley. Lefty on lefty matchup. Seven is ballpark. And 34 is in play against four lefty batter. So Bradley's going to have an in play. And that is a 12. So in play 12 is a base hit against a lefty. In play 12, a base hit for Jackie Bradley. Now he is a threat to run. He stole 17 bases. So let's check and see if he can get a jump. I'm going to our jump chart. Conley's hold rating is a 3, which is pretty good. Actually, it's really good. Uh, and the run rating on, or steal rating for Bradley is a 4. So if we go to 3 and a 4, that means a 0 through 29. He needs a 0 to 29, or a 1 to 29, I should say, to get the lead. He does not, so he will not be able to go. He has to hold. So thoughts of base stealing did not pan out for him. Here's Mookie Betts. Nine is tough. Tough 66. That is going to be a ground ball to third. Could be a double play. That's a nine, so it won't be a double play. It'll be a fielder's choice. Conley has a nine, but Mookie Betts only has a five. So it's a five-four fielder's choice. And now Betts is aboard. He can run. He's a 30, so we're in the same situation. He's a steal of B. Conley's a hold of 4, so we need that 0 to 29 to get the jump. And he gets it, so this time it will be a stolen base attempt. Betts is a B stealer. Riyamuto is a, a, a 2 arm. So we go to our base stealing. Short. As soon as I can find it. A lot of charts. Here we go. All right, base stealing, B and two. B and two, was it two? Yeah, it was two, B and two. So B two is right here in the middle. So 43 to 99, he'll get a stolen base. 13 to 42, he'll get caught. It is a 43, and he just made it on his very last result. He makes it, so barely slid in there with that stolen base. Mattingly looking to the review booth, but he's not going to make a challenge. And I'll bring up Brock Holt. And actually, uh, they're going to go ahead and stick with Holt. They were going to bring in Nunez to pinch hit, but they're going to go ahead and stick with Holt. 11 is patient. And that's a 13, so that's a walk. So Holt will walk to put runners at first and second. Brings up Benatendi, and a right-hander is in the bullpen for the Marlins because J.D. Martinez is next, and they're not going to let Conley pitch to Martinez. Here's Benatendi. It's an 8, which is tough. 
zero seven. That's a strikeout. So two down, but that's going to be it for Conley. They're not going to let him face J.D. Martinez. So pitching change in the works here, and it will be Drew Steckenrider. So Steckenrider is on, and we can't close the book on Conley, but we can say he pitched two-thirds of an inning. He gave up one hit, and he walked a batter. And he struck out a batter, but we can't put anything for the runs yet because we don't know. So Steckenrider will be on for the Marlins. Face J.D. Martinez. Two on, two out. Bottom of the seventh, trying to keep this thing within reach. Ten is ballpark. That could be trouble if it goes in the wheelhouse. It does not, though. It's an in play. So Martinez in play against a righty. Sixteen, though, that's a base hit. Got a single. And it was a 10, so it's a lead die of 5. But it doesn't matter because with two outs, Betts is a 7. He's going to score anyway. So he will score. That run is now charged to Conley. RBI single by Martinez. And Holt is a 5, so he won't automatically get third. But we'll check the base running situation. Runner on first. A 5 is first place plus choice. Uh, they're going to go and hold him at second. So, RBI single for Martinez makes it four to nothing. Here is Devers. Nine is in play. 69, in play 69 is a ground ball to short, and that's going to end the inning. So we close the book on Conley, gave it the one run. So a run is in the books for Boston, and after seven complete, it's Boston four, Miami nothing. Be right back with a new Boston pitcher. Okay, final line score on Chris Sale. Seven innings pitched, three hits, no runs, no walks, five strikeouts, and of course stands to be the winner. Brandon Workman, the right-hander, is on for the Red Sox to pitch the eighth. That four-nothing lead, there's no save situation as of yet, so they want to use they don't want to use Kelly or possibly use Kim Kimbrell, so they want to Start with Workman, see what he can do. Facing Derek Dietrich, Rojas, and Brinson. Those are the three in the order. Six is in play for Dietrich. 36. In play 36, though, is a base hit. So Dietrich, with that leadoff single, brings up Miguel Rojas, and Joe Kelly is starting to loosen in the bullpen already. Six is in play. 47. Rojas against a right-hander in play is just out of range. 47's a pop to third. Corralled there by Devers. One away for Lewis Brinson. And they may pinch hit for Brinson because they need some offense here. So Brinson's going to be pulled. And they will turn to J.T. Riddle. So J.T. Riddle will pinch hit. For Brinson, then they'll have to put up a new shortstop, a new uh, center fielder as well, or change around some of the fielders. But right now, J.T. Riddle is going to pinch hit right here, and then we'll need a new center fielder. But right now, J.T. Riddle is on. Six is in play. Ninety-three. That's not going to help. That's a fly to right. So two down. Riddle fails. And here's Starlin Castro. 11 is patient. 12, that's a walk. So it'll put two on with two outs. Two on and two outs for Cameron Maben. And this is going to be Workman's last batter. If he doesn't get him, he's gone. And Kelly's coming in. 8 is tough, though. Here's Mabron. Tough 07, that's a struck him out. Struck him out to end the inning. So Workman gets through the eighth, one inning pitched, one hit, and a walk, strikeout, and nothing else, as the Marlins leave two on, and we go to the bottom of the eighth, and now we need some substitutions defensively for the Marlins, as they pinch it for Brinson, Riddle obviously does not play the outfield, so they're going to bring in Yadiel Rivera, he's going to be playing center field. So Rivera 
not likely to bat. He's just in there for the glove. He is an F three five six two C. So he will be on Rivera defensively. And let's see for the Marlins. Stecken Rider faced two batters. So they're gonna leave him in there. I'm gonna go ahead and leave him in. Give him a chance to and you know what? No, they're not. I take that back. They're gonna bring in Ty Tyron Guerrero. Tyron Guerrero is gonna come in. So we're gonna close the book on Stecken Rider. Stecken Rider went a third of an inning. Gave up a hit, nothing else. And Tyron Tyron Guerrero is on. And he'll be facing Xander Bogarts, Mitch Moreland, and Sandy Leone in the Red Sox lineup. Joe Kelly still loosening in the Red Sox bullpen. Going to come in and close it out in the ninth, even though it's not a save situation. 11 is tough for Guerrero. 56. That's going to be out of range. It's a ground ball to first. One away. Here's Mitch Moreland. 11 is tough. 71, tough 71. That is a ground ball to short. Two down. So Guerrero not mincing any time here. He's going right at it. Here's Leon. Five is patient. 34. As soon as I say that, he gives up a base hit to Leon. At least he didn't walk him. So it's two out single. Brings up Jackie Bradley. Seven is tough. 64. Just out of range. Tough 64. It's a fly to left. Innings over. So, close the book on Guerrero. He went one inning, gave up a hit, nothing else. And we go to the ninth. Last chance for the Marlins. As they will have to deal with Joe Kelly. So, Joe Kelly is in. Of course, not a save situation. Be facing JT Riamuto, Riamuto, Anderson, and Prado, and everybody gets on board. Here's Riamuto. Nine is tough, and that is a zero five. That's a strikeout. So Riamuto down on strikes. Could be a long year in this little league for the Marlins for sure. Six is tough. Oh four. It's another strikeout. Of course, they are playing the Red Sox, so you have to take that with a grain of salt. Here's Martin Prado, last chance for the Marlins. Six, uh, seven is in play. 29, that's a base hit. So a single for Prado. And, whoops, almost hit into my little stand here. And if everybody gets on, it might turn into a save situation. They really don't want to use Kimbrell in game one. They'd rather save him, not use him if they don't have to. But here's Bohr. Three is patient. Patient 89, and that's a base hit for Bohr, 88 to 90. So that 89 is a base hit. Lead die of 1 means 1 base on the runner advancement. But now, the tying run is, tying run is, in, in, is, is on deck, I should say, which technically means you qualify for the save. I don't really like that rule, but that's the way the rule is written right now. Uh, do they want to do that or stick with Kelly? You know what, they're going to, well, this is called padding your stats, folks. They're going to bring in Craig Kimbrell and take a chance they're not going to need him in the in all three games of this series. So they're going to bring in Kimbrell, and this is strictly to pad the stats, shameless padding of the stats, to get the save, even though it's a raunchy save. He's going to face Derek Dietrich. Three is tough. 41, tough 41 struck him out, ball game over, so there's your cheap save, which is why the save is probably the most irrelevant statistic in baseball. 4 nothing victory, save goes to Kimbrell, winner is Sale, loser is Urena. For Kelly, he went two-thirds of an inning, gave up two hits, did strike out two, gave up no runs, and Kimbrell, the one-third, got the strikeout. To notch the save. So the totals for the Marlins, no runs, six hits, no errors, 
for the Red Sox, four runs, nine hits, no errors. Winning pitcher again was Chris Sale. Loser was Jose Urena. And so far, out of the three games, this one has been the closest, 4-0. First shutout, but at least it was a, you know, until that sixth inning when Urena imploded facing the order the third time, that kind of got him. But after that, uh, pretty good game. And, of course, the Red Sox pitching just totally dominant. And it could have been because of the lack of offense for the Marlins. But they did hold Riamuto to 1-4, to so good job there. So that's going to do it from here. Hope you enjoyed that presentation of Game 3 of Opening Day in the uh, Pop 10. Next game on the schedule is the White Sox playing the Phillies in in Philadelphia. And then the final game will be Colorado at Atlanta, SunTrust Park. After that, we'll be repeating games two and three in the same teams. Those will be offline, and then the next video would be the start of the new series. So each team's going to play three games, then get an off day, and then they're going to go at it again. So hope you all are uh, having a wonderful Christmas time, New Year's, Happy New Year's. Uh, I'm recording this on the 26th. I don't know if I'm going to post it tonight or tomorrow because I just posted game two yesterday. I guess I'll post this one tonight, I guess, depending on how fast it takes to upload. So, from Fenway Park, say so long as the Red Sox win it. 4 nothing over the fish. Till next time, enjoy playing whatever game you choose to play, however you choose to play it, and I will see you all down the road.